you have to be a good boy. Yes, you do. All right. Well, I can put it right. I'll put my coffee over here. Well, let me turn the handle. Oh, it's hot. It's really hot. Let me turn That's it. That's fine. And I'll set it there. All right, Mr. Brown. Yeah, are you going to be good? I'm going to put the towel here because I don't want you pooping on me. No, <laughs> sorry. Okay. Are you ready to say hello? We've been talking and they're probably saying, <laughs> you already said hello. No, I didn't. Hi, everyone. It's Nona Grace, and I'm from Western New York, and I've got Mr. Brown with me. I had a request to, where where was Mr. Brown um, in my comments? That's my bracelet. And he likes to pick, he think he was, he think he was a, a crow. crow, yes. Because <laughs> like anything shiny. shiny. He tries to get my necklace, he tries to get my bracelet, yeah, and he tries to get my rings. <laughs> You're just being silly. Well, I want to tell, oh, my notebook. I can tell you what I need to tell you today. Or what I would like to tell you. <laughs> now, you just sit quiet. Shh. Who are you and where are you from? Oh, I think I, don't I did, remember didn't if I you say said that? that? I will say it again. Hi, everyone. It's Nona Grace, and I'm from Western New York, and this is Mr. Brown. Okay. I will talk about little lady. Oh, no. First of all, I want to say happy <laughs> grandparents' day. I wrote that down at the top because I didn't want to forget. And I knew I was going to forget if I didn't write it down. Yeah, that's my bracelet. He's back and at it. Um, happy grandparents' day. I don't know if you realize it, but ha grandparents' day is always the first Sunday after Labor Day. And this is the first Sunday after. Okay, now that, and my, my grandkids came by to see me. Yes, they did. And I said, be careful of Mr. Brown because I have him out. And don't step in Mr. Brown's poops <laughs> because he does those. Every time he does like a little squat, you know he's going to, excuse me, my coffee is <laughs> telling me I had coffee. Every time he squats, he does his poops. Sometimes they're formed, don't you get down. And sometimes they're, um... Squishy. I like the formed kind, so that's what you should do from now on. <laughs> a little lady is outside. She's outside again. She did not sleep in the hen house yesterday. When it was time to, when they were all in, what was it she was doing? You were, did you, was that when she was trying to escape? Or was it with mm, the rain? No, that was this morning with that the rain. This morning. Well, last night she was pacing back and forth, back and forth at the gate, and I said, well, she wants to come in. So I went out and got her and brought her in. She slept in her little uh, little cage. Her apartment. Her apartment, yeah, her little <laughs> makeshift home for when she, at nighttime. I have her in two different spots. At night she sleeps in the little um, cage type thing. And during the day, she's in the playpen, or she's outside. And you go into the playpen, don't you? Yes, he does. And um, then this morning, I brought her out. It was pretty nice when I brought her out. Well, it was sprinkling, but it wasn't it wasn't bad. So I brought her out, and she went under the pine tree. And then later, it really started pouring. So everybody came. Here, hop up. <laughs> Every, just don't poop. Um, <laughs> I have a towel just in case. Everybody... Um, came up to the gate and there she is. I had the gate open because I, I don't know what I was doing in there. We I think I was to get, taking uh, care of Silver. Silver, silver, silver is Aunt broody. Aunt she is broody. So I had the gate opened and um, Jim goes, somebody's trying to escape. And I said, no, that's that's just little lady. She wants in the house. So I brought her in the house and when the rain stopped and the sun started shining, I brought her back out. So she's been outside. When I, and when the rooster crowed for the snack, she came up. She The first time he crowed, she didn't come up very far because she had just been in the house and eating all the good stuff that she has. So she really wasn't interested in the, in the scratch. But the second time when he crowed, she, was, she came up and she got her scratch, which was good because she was ready for it. And I most likely will be bringing her in again tonight. I won't let her stay outside until she actually goes into the enclosed run herself. I put her in there the one day and she comes running out. And then another day I put her up in the little house and she was trying to sleep on the ground. And I don't want her to do that. So we will bring her in and let her sleep in her little cage. We went shopping today and 
Jim was telling me that, because we just watched, I just watched Ghetto Van's video. It's funny. I hope you take a moment. I will put the link in and you should watch it. It's funny. He he doesn't laugh very often, but he was chuckling. He could he had a hard time composing himself. And it was about a car and six feet apart and it was it was good. In fact, um Jim watched it with me and he says what I forgot what you said. I put it in quotes whatever it was you said. <laughs> I put it in my comment. There was a lady you were on one side of the aisle, and I was on the other side. There was a lady came up behind us, and she waited until you came to my side of the aisle before she went by us. Even though there was a lot of room in between, she wasn't going to she, pass. She just was Honest not going to pass. Well, I can't it's be like, rushed when I'm looking at things, <laughs> and I didn't even know she was there. When you're shopping, you know how you kind of like to read a few things and look a few things over? You want to compare prices, you want to compare, compare ingredients, you want to look at, I look at the carbs and things. Or I maybe can't find quite what I'm looking for and I want to see what, what is this? You look at the products, I watch the people. And you watch the people. <laughs> and I didn't, I didn't even see her. But apparently she did that. So shopping was a joy. <laughs> Um, was there anything else I wanted to say? Let's see. Uh, silver is broody. Yeah. Oh, talking about silver broodiness, and we were monkeying around trying to get her settled. I brought the little dog kennel into the chicken run, and we I watched a video of how a guy had it up on a couple of um, four by fours. Four by fours. And I said we need to do that with this cage too to give her some air underneath. What it is is you want to try to cool their bottoms off. So I had him get me a couple four by fours and I put the, we put the cage on it and then I was telling Jessica I have her cage comes in very handy because I have silver in it and we went to look and there's no bird in there at all it's like where the heck is she the lock was still on she was a Houdini she she escaped and so come to find out the very top of the cage has a lot of um, bigger holes but she must have really She's a little bird, and so she probably squeezed right through. Her feathers make her look like she's bigger than what she is. And so she squeezed through and went back to the nesting box. So Jim put some chicken wire on it, and then we took her out. I have to wear gloves when I take her out because she bites. She is getting a little better about it. And she did have another egg under her, but I don't want her... I don't want her going broody at this time. Winter is coming, and I don't need any baby chicks in the in the chicken house. I don't need that. So mm -hmm. we aren't letting her go broody. And um, we put her into the cage, and then I checked just a little bit ago to make sure she was still in. So she's still in. The cage is now fixed, but that was, oh my goodness. I thought, how the heck did you get out? You, little boy are all over the place. Yes, you are. Are you going to kiss me? Don't kiss me. I don't have gold teeth. <laughs> no. Nope. If I had gold teeth, he'd be pecking at my mouth. Thank goodness well, I don't. Yeah, I don't want you to kiss me even because nope. you've got dirty, you've got dirty beak. Yes, mm -hmm. you're a dirty, yeah. oh, there you are standing on one foot. Your daddy does that too. He likes to stand on one foot. He looks like a weather vane. Are you going to look like a weather vane? Maybe. I don't know. But anyway, so that was our day. It was shopping. <laughs> yeah. And chicken Chickens. time. And grandkids. And grandkids. And Jim cooked out on the grill. He, I was cleaning out my one freezer. My one freezer was, ouch, that hurts. That's a, hey, that's a mole. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> he tries to pick it off. Don't do that. Let me cover it. Yes, it's a dark spot. It's like when he was trying to take the scab off my finger. No, and they, and, and <laughs> what am I doing? They said that if you have a, no, 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 don't do that. <laughs> they said, um, the old ladies at the county home used to say that I was going to die from either hanging or decapitation or something because I had a mole on my neck. And then another lady said I was going to be rich because I had a mole on my neck. You, I'd rather be the rich one. But anyways, mm. boy, are you pecky today. <laughs> now what are you after? My buttons. Okay. I hope you enjoy seeing Mr. Brown. He's attacking me uh, in a funny way. Um, I'm going to have to put... In a nice way. It's it's nice. He's, he's doing nice. He says, ouch. Yes. 
No, none of that. He sees my freckles. He sees, he sees my freckles on my arm. <laughs> He'll peck at them. He sees the mole on my neck. He pecks at it. He sees the, the mole on my... The be these are beauty marks, really. They're not mm. moles. Oh, that's my necklace now. So, <laughs> I will... <laughs> we have to say goodbye, Mr. Brown. Say goodbye. Goodbye, Mr. Brown. Uh, Mr. Brown, say goodbye. <laughs> goodbye. Let's say goodbye. Goodbye.